Good morning friends, Maraid here again. I've just realised that I probably haven't used my name in any of my vlogs, so you guys out there may not even know what my name is. It's Maraid. It's an Irish name and it actually means Margaret uh, and that's what's on my birth chart actually, Margaret Mary, but in Ireland um, it's Maraid. So many of us around here anyway. This is my breakfast, Sunday morning, so I have some of that pecan and maple granola mix that I like and I'm going to put some milk on it. Now I know it's dairy milk and I am trying to cut down on my dairy. I would love to get a taste for the almond milk or the rice milk, but I just don't enjoy it. So I'm still on the dairy. These are my tablets to go on the side, so <laughs> many of them there. These ones are for my fibromyalgia. This one is the most important and is probably the smallest. That is my Femara. That is to prevent cancer reoccurring in the body. I'm actually on a special study that's going on all over the world to see if it's um, worth or if it's advisable to give women who've had breast cancer and who are estrogen positive to give them Femara for 10 years instead of for five years. So that's my little bag of medication. I go down to a town near me, about an hour's drive every six months and they give me six new packets and that would go on for an extra five years. I had taken it previously after surgery and chemo and radiotherapy for five years. And that little tablet is a once a day and it's a hormone of some sort that helps to prevent a reoccurrence of breast cancer. So it's my most important one. It's my l -thyroxin. That one is my protein then to protect my tummy from all of these tablets that are probably have some side effects. Now these are my own supplements. This one is a vitamin D. It's a vitamin D. D3 actually. There's the bottle. And I've heard that for people with fibromyalgia and pain that it's a very good one. Uh, I take it every day. This one is turmeric and boswellian. Turmeric and bos boswellia. And again, it's for inflammation in the body. I have, I have constant inflammation and pain and my temperature is always slightly raised, but it's because it's an autoimmune condition. It's nothing related to the cancer and there's just something going on in my body all the time. This one my omega fish oil that helps a lot with side effects from some of the others i suffer an awful lot from sweating and this one is my forever royal jelly now that's a company i've only started with lately it's forever they're worldwide again it's a tiny little tablet and that's exactly what it looks like it's it's not a capsule it's just a white one so that's my morning breakfast for me today and I'll talk to you later. This is the coffee I've been enjoying for breakfast. It's Kenko Milicano whole bean instant. So it's just an instant coffee. And I usually just take a spoon that I find. A spoon of coffee in the morning wakens me up. So there's a spoon into my coffee mug. I know sugar is bad for me, but I just try and have just a tiny little half a teaspoon. Give me a little bit of energy. I'm not a coffee drinker as such. A small little bit of coffee, maybe once a day, just enough to wake me up. I really like this one here. It's Kenko Medicano Whole Bean Instant. It's a little bit like, it's very much like real coffee actually. And it's just got that little kick that I need to waken up. So, little drop of milk. And I'm ready for my day once I get this down there. Sit down, have a little chat to myself, a little rest and raring to go. I've just bought a new refill for my Milicano. 
coffee holder and it's sunlight blend and I said I would show it to you because it actually smells beautiful so I'm looking forward to trying that with my next cup but it's actually got a beautiful smell so I'll let you know whether the whole bean instant or they're both whole bean instant but this is a sunlight blend it's a new one I haven't seen lately and if you buy the refill I think it works out around three euro whereas if you buy the full container of coffee it's four to five euro so of course I buy the refill no need to waste so talk to you later good morning friends it's Sunday morning here and I'm just getting ready to put a roast on for our dinner this is a lovely rib roast matured for 14 days for extra tenderness so just if you're inquiring about the price it's 14 euro 99 a kilogram so this one weighs 1.1 kilogram which is nearly three pounds in weight so that works out at 17 euro 84 now i'll be popping it into the oven the oven is warming at the minute i always warm my oven for until it's i always heat it to 100 degrees centigrade now here's my lovely roast straight into the roasting pan cover it with tin foil no need for no need for oil or anything because there's a lovely marble of fat to it so it'll have enough juices to cook in cut down the tin foil all around and that will go into the oven starting at 200 degrees centigrade for about half an hour and then I'll turn it down to 180 and it'll take roughly two hours in total so we'll have a lovely roast for dinner Hi, Maraid back again here. My lovely granddaughter just came on a visit on her way to the cinema. She's with her mum and dad and they're going to see Rio. So they just stopped for a quick hello. She's looking really pretty today. She had her little headband on and she looks absolutely gorgeous. So waiting on my husband and son. I think I hear them coming now. Just back from a drive. I'll show you the meat. It looks absolutely fabulous. Ready to eat our dinner. Here we are. Delicious roast beef, all sliced up and ready to go. So we have some baby new potatoes and some beans and some gravy. Talk to you later. Hi everyone, back again. Just still Sunday evening, finished up a lovely Sunday by watching two movies. My son wanted us to rent these out this weekend, and I must say they're both good. First one here is Hunger Games Catching Fire. It's the second in the trilogy, Hunger Games, and I had already listened to the three books on my audible.co.uk downloads and enjoyed them no end. And I must say that the film lived up to the terrific standard of the audible books. There were... There was great acting in the film and it was very, very true to the story. It was starring Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutchison, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson was playing Haymitch in it and Donald Sutherland was the president. All great actors and lovely movie sets and I believe that the film finished up filming in Hawaii for the game so it was a great movie I would recommend you to hire it especially if you've seen part one part one was the Hunger Games Mockingjay now if you haven't seen part one part two won't make any sense so that was the first of a great movie on a Sunday lazy Sunday afternoon next one was Gravity now this one was also good but in a different way this movie was so tense and tension filled <laughs> as my husband said there were only two actors in the whole thing Sandra Bullock and what's his name that gorgeous hunky guy <laughs> oh oh it'll come to me in a minute and um, 
they were walking in space most of the time. It was nail biting stuff and they just never seemed to be safe. So you were kind of on edge the whole time watching it, even to the very end. Now the story plot line was good, but oh my goodness, I couldn't bear the tension, even though I did watch it at the end. It was a very good movie. And out of the two, this one was my son's favorite. So I suppose uh, maybe for somebody young, interested in space and rockets and things like that, it's, it's a grabber, all right. And a uh, very good movie. Nice way to spend Sunday afternoon and evening. Finished off with a lovely Goodfellas pizza my son shared with me. And now I guess it's bedtime. So until I see you all again, good night and thanks for watching. Take care.